Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam and Yana. Um, we just wanted to jump on here really quick before we began the video today and just let you guys know this video uh, is telling how we have had to deal with family triggers, um, dealing with mental um, health disorders, but we also, with all of the laughter, wanted to make sure that you guys know that we do take this seriously and we do know that there are a lot of people out here suffering. There are a lot of people that don't have the support system that Kiana has. So um, we wanted to give you a at least one resource just so therefore if you need um, help and you might be feeling down that you reach out to somebody. So if you are feeling down um, or feeling like you want to harm yourself, please give the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline a phone call and they are there 24 seven and they are there to help. So at 1-800-273-8255. All right, guys, we love you. Hey, butterflies, it's your girl Pam and my beautiful guest, Miss Kiana. Say hello. Hi. She's so ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're coming back for part two. And part two is our second contention, point of contention, which is Dre. So, um, I think we were shocked. Kiana knew she was pregnant. I was in denial, and then we could not get the doctors, the lab, <laughs> to, to confirm. They would not, not... the P test. <laughs> we could... But I knew. We couldn't get anybody to confirm that this child was pregnant. And so when we finally got it, what, a week later? It was rough. Um, I was like, okay. I need to embrace this. But I still was a little gun shy, honestly. She wasn't living with me. She was still living, her and Antonio were still living together. And I didn't know where I fit. So I just didn't do anything. <laughs> well, she had to go once a month to the regular doctor and then once a month to the high risk. And as she got further along into her pregnancy, she had to go to the high risk doctor much earlier once a week than she would have um to which saved my baby which saved your baby because she went to the hospital and we thought her water had broke and they sent her back home which and all the break. amniotic fluid had leaked out so it was literally a grace of god because um, normally she goes to the high risk doctors on Friday. They had to move her to that Monday. We ended up at the hospital that Friday. They sent her back home, said her water did not break. And then we went to the high risk doctor that Monday. Now, normally it would not have been until the following Friday, which could have put her at some serious risk with the baby. So you know, once again, God moves. So, um, when I finally embraced now, one of my things that I, when I finally, I think I, when we finally did the gender reveal, I think that's when I finally, probably cause it was a boy. I'm going to just be, <laughs> <laughs> I told it was a boy. I told everybody it was a boy. I yeah. didn't know it was a boy. She knew it was a boy. During the gender reveal, she ended up saying that I guess because Antonio had the boy up of what they thought it was going to be. So if it was a girl, she didn't want the girl to feel bad. So That's she that, went with yeah. the girl. Yeah. That Which I thought was really maternal. I thought that was cute. But so I'm laughing because I always wanted a boy. So I had a miscarriage when before Janae. Janae's a rainbow baby. Janae is a rainbow baby. And I was too far i was not far along enough to know the gender but i made it in my head that it was a boy so i could be a mother of a boy i'm kim kardashian and she's the surrogate because dre's really my child <laughs> she says after the 13 hours of labor i'm lying but you know hey 
girl can try. 13 hours. And if y'all whoever done more than 13 hours, I applaud y'all. Well, this I, is the high threshold twin. She's the high threshold of pain. So for her to be in that, that, yeah, that that was it. She's so gone to sleep getting a tattoo, like a back tattoo, a neck tattoo. So it was a high threshold. But anyway, um, but once we did that, we found out it was a boy. I was all in, right? Now, I would have been all in for a girl too, but it was just, it was a boy. It was a boy. She was ecstatic yeah she was like so the next thing was that was not my baby shower that was her baby shower <laughs> <laughs> the next thing was the baby shower i wanted to make sure that this was a special day for her her and antonio had gone through some trials and tribulations just from the whole mental health standpoint just from hard knock lives you know murphy came in and swooped and tried to you know steal their joy and I was just determined that this was going to be a really, really good time for her and her friends. And so, did you enjoy it? I did. It was very fun. Okay. I got my mind off things a lot. Yeah. So, unfortunately, right before, um, what, about three weeks before you gave birth, um, Antonio had a manic, and we shared in the previous, um, previous um, video that <clears throat> he has bipolar and schizophrenia. And I think psychosis too, but, um, yeah. Um, and so he went into a manic and got in trouble with the law and it should have been called in as a mental disturbance, which is called a 1013, um, versus just a regular type of, you know, uh, crime or whatever. And so, unfortunately, he spent a year. He just got out April 2nd. Um, but then, you know, all of this other stuff, you can't say the word. You can't say the no. word? No. <laughs> all this up, you cannot say the word. All this other stuff took place. So, um, they've only seen each other once. And he's only saw his son once. And so, I, I have to give them to him, even though they... Asked me a thousand times. <laughs> I'm about to sneak out and go over there. Yeah, they, they, we are practicing the social distancing, and they have really, um, they're really good troopers, so I really appreciate them. Out of everybody, of course, I would probably be the one that's more susceptible to different things that could possibly happen with that. So I appreciate them taking that into consideration for me. We wanted to do this for Mental Health Awareness Month. And so um, when we found out um, that it was near, you know, the, the delivery was near, in my head, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be what brings me and Kiki back together. And it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it, okay. oh, it put a, a big old Ooh. block it was a wedge it was a boulder it's a, bo it a, a boulder yes a boulder it was a boulder between us um i'm thinking i'm trying to help she's thinking that i'm telling her she's not a good mom do you need a nap it is my nap <laughs> <laughs> she's thinking that I'm saying that she's not a good mom, and honestly, all I'm trying to do is help, and it didn't matter. Um, you know, everything from just trying to take some of the... I took off from work. Um, I tried to, you know, wash his clothes, so that was one less thing she could say. Oh, you saying I'm not a good mom? And I said, Lord, if she stay there one more, one more again, one more again, hallelujah. I'm a shaker. I'm just so shaker. Um. So yeah, my feelings got hurt a lot because honestly, and it took me and and Dre's almost a year, but it took me until now. Um, going back to the video I told y'all about when I was asking folks, you know, to uh, like people that are close to me, things that they thought positively about me and things that they felt like I needed to work on. And as I was talking to her, uh, and I was hard on her because she made me, <laughs> she made me be hard on her. 
She made me be hard on her because the things that I was trying to tell her, she didn't, she wasn't receiving it. And it hurt my feelings. And so, yeah, I got in my feelings. So what did you think about it? Um, what did you think about it then and what do you think about it now? I was very paranoid for no apparent reason. Um, and I can't help that, but I, I it doesn't make it right. Um, I... I saw the other day I had a pick me when she was talking to she was saying something to somebody and it was the same thing she said to me and it's like a recording like she she is automatically programming her brain so when she tells me Keanu don't have it in his mouth that's a choking hat I'm thinking she's trying to be you know trying like to, I'm not watching my kid yeah, yeah but she she was just trying to inform me because that's what she does in her field she she informs them and lets them know. Hey, and I got 24 what, years of right. on-the-job training. <laughs> 24 years. <laughs> Are you feeling still a little saucy? <laughs> 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 I was just saying. Like. <laughs> 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 Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. You might be a little still hard. <laughs> yeah. Maybe <laughs> <Okay. Maybe> just <laughs> a little bit hurt. Okay, 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 okay. Go ahead. Oh, uh, but yeah. It, I was like, oh, snap. She doesn't just do that with me. So I was like, okay, you need to chill out sometimes. So um, it, it died down a little bit. Um, I try not to react. But if I do, I come back and apologize because I'm like, okay. Um, yeah. It might take her three days, but she come back. I come back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I, I was very paranoid because, I mean, she's such a great mom. Like yesterday, like we was talking about in the other video that literally I was having a panic attack because I was scared to finish my stuff my work and she literally had this idea of just she was going to tell me to break she told me to break it down um each question and I and not look at it as a big thing to eat it bite size <laughs> so she had I'm gonna help you she had an assignment she had two assignments and one assignment had five questions. And so she literally, guys, was having a, a full on panic attack. I was in my room and all of a sudden I hear this loud scream. So we rush in here and she says, oh, I just needed to scream. The what? <laughs> I'm so trying to get it out because I couldn't breathe. <laughs> so... We go back, we think all is well, and then she goes to yelling and fussing and cussing. And I'm like, what in the world? So I told Janae, go get me the baby. And I'm asking her, what is the problem? And so she was like, I just don't know why I can't feel like I can finish this. I don't understand what is stopping me. And so it, it just dawned on me. I was like, well, maybe she's looking at it as the whole thing. I said, well, let's do this. Why don't you... How many questions is in one assignment? She said five. I said, okay, it's 10 minutes after eight. Have two questions finished by nine o'clock. She came back at 8.30. She was finished with those two questions. All right, take a minute, talk to Antonio for a while. And then from nine to 10, you got to answer the other three questions. She got them done in 30 minutes, but it was because she was looking at it in its, in its totality she couldn't quite get it together. And so I think a lot of people do that. That's why they say, eat, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So I think maybe that helped you understand that maybe I'm more than a talking head. <laughs> yeah. It made me appreciate her. Oh, oh, my baby. I'm oh, good. <laughs> We, like I said, y'all, we have a lot of fun in this house, and then we fight a lot in this house. It depends on the day. It or depends the time. on the day. The time. The time of day. Sometimes we can get through the whole day, and then I'll be like, oh, we did it. And then 10 minutes later, you know, her mm -hmm. and her sisters are fighting, me and her are fighting. We'll She's usually, it's right. either her or me is the common denominator. You agree? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's either me or her. So, yeah. But we're probably the most alike, too. Yes. That's why we get it. I mean, she was my best friend. 
She was my best friend. She said was. was. Did y'all catch that? Yes, was. I caught the shade. Woo, caught it. <laughs> she was my best friend. I don't even know what well, to do not, with that. I mean, we don't, we don't talk like we used to. Like, uh, like, Why? Because I know why. You want to Let's go into that real quick. She sat up there and asked me. Because I tell her everything. When I tell you we will talk about a situation, a, 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 a question or something, I'll call my mom about an adult co um, conversation, a, a, a question or something like that. That's how close we were, if y'all can catch my drip. So, Once again, were. Okay, go ahead. So, anyways, she asked me. I was literally tutoring chemistry. She asked me, was I, um, at a, was I staying after school for a boy? I was like, no. And she not believe me. So I was like, okay, well, she, I was like, oh, the, I guess the trust is just gone. So that's what downfall hill went that down there. Are you talking about in high school? Yes. That I'm gonna need you, okay, first of all, I'm going to need her to get over this. First of all, I don't even remember what I had for lunch yesterday. That's number one. Number two. But you broke the trust. That's what you But Kiana, okay, so let's, let's, let, okay. So what do I we, showed what you the minute, papers and everything. I was great. What do we do? What do we do to, for, everybody to understand that we are truly truly telling the truth what do we do and say i did that say it. promise on nana's grave no, we have to do the pinky promise don't do that promise on nana's grave you do pink oh my god say pinky promise on nana's pinky grave Pinky promise on nana's grave okay i understand that now you have to realize that there was some other stuff that you had not really been so forthcoming with I ain't just stop trusting you. Don't do that. Okay, it was that, that stalker boy. Yeah. Don't do mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. If you find me on not, here, please don't contact me. Please I don't. did not just stop trusting my child. Now, this right here, when we do Pinky Promise on Nana's grave, that is Bible to us. That means you could take this to the bank, deposit it, and it will not bounce. We are telling you the truth, and that is something that we have kept sacred within our family yep until until what you the one just said it what? a boy and that's exactly why i didn't necessarily believe her with this situation because she lied about the boy so let me explain to you i am very loyal i trust you until you give me a reason not to Okay, that's all I got to say about that. You got anything else to say? <laughs> I love this child. She made me, a, even though she's a twin, she made me a mama. She was the first one out. She made me a mama. Although this is the same child that my Pray mama Pray I get a girl. I Lies. A we don't need any more babies. None. Not right girl, now. Girl, girl. Let, let, let's try this. You can have as many as you want. Outside this roof. <laughs> Try it. Outside, Try it. outside this roof. So, with that said, um, I think that now, and, and we'll keep you guys posted, but I think now that her medicine is starting to regulate, she's getting her life in order the way that she wants it. I think things will start to settle down. She has to realize that I'm on her team, but I can't make her realize that. She has to realize it herself. That's just the way it is. All right. All right. So make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure that you all uh, hit like if you know somebody that may want to hear about mental health and how the family deals with it. What are you looking at? then please hit like, share it, and until next time, love you butterfly. <laughs>